What's up, Wolf Gang? We back with another one, baby. Giving all thanks and glory to the Most High, Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, our Father God, the King of all kings, the ruler of all nations. And we back with another one today, baby. Today, we got a juicy story. I've been getting a lot of people saying that they like the Job Corps stories. I've been getting a lot of people saying that they're going to Job Corps or they've been to the same Job Corps I went to, Earl C, and they say they want more stories. And the Job Corps videos seem to be getting the most views. So I'm gonna give y'all another one. Check me out. All right, man, so I'm gonna give y'all a story about the time my OT brother, Cali, like I said, in Job Corps, wherever you were from, whatever city, whatever state, that's what they call you. You feel me? Everybody don't know everybody's name, so they call you by whatever state or city you're from. And people from California, we call them Cali. So the story goes, we pull up to Job Corps, everybody on the bus. I mean, like I said, when you pull up to Job Corps, especially Earl C, I really can't speak for, you know, every other Job Corps because I ain't go to no other Job Corps. I went to Earl C. Clemens in Morganfield, Kentucky. You feel me? And once you hop off the plane, they're going to have a bus waiting for you. You get to the bus. There's going to be other people already on the bus. Everybody meet up at the airport and hop on that bus, regardless what city or state you come from and head to uh, Job Corps. So at Earl C, on the way to Job Corps, the lady, it was two, it was a female and a dude, and they were part of the pre-military program. And they was on the bus and they was telling us about how Job Corps is, you know, some of the stuff we're going to encounter and, you know, all of the run-ins and this, that, and the third or whatever. Just letting us, giving us the whole back, back script on it or whatever. So while we on the bus heading to Job Corps, every guy and every female that was on that bus was considered our OT brothers and sisters, which means on Tuesday, because you arrive at Earl C. Clements on a Tuesday. Everybody come in on Tuesday. I guess it's like the uh, the day that like they receive uh, students or whatever. So we all come in on a Tuesday. So they're your OT brothers and sisters, which mean don't, it doesn't mean that you got to necessarily have they back and you got to run with them and shit like that. But they basically just giving you that as a beginner's guy. Like, okay, just like jail. Y'all all coming here together. It's on y'all if y'all going to have each other back or not. If y'all going to roll together or not. But y'all all coming here together. Y'all don't know nobody here. They don't know you. You feel me? It's already cliques and crews and gangs and shit already on this site. They already there. They already established. So when you coming in as an individual... You feel me? You coming in around crews and gangs and shit like that, it could be a problem. You know what I'm saying? So they're basically telling you for your benefit. You know, it'll probably behoove y'all to all stick together, to all ride together and have each other's back. So going in, you know, I ain't know any of these people. You feel me? So I wasn't thinking in my mind, I'm going to have his back, I'm going to have her back. Nah, no, fuck that. I'm going into it like, you know, going into it. If I see you, you my OT brother or sister. So if I see you getting into some shit, I'm going to come over there and try to intervene and shit like that. But... If you going around starting shit on campus and you fucking up and you expect me and the other motherfuckers to run to your aid, that's not happening. So for me, I'm thinking to myself like, okay, I'm looking at the faces. So boom, I got to see the faces of my OT brothers and sisters. Like, okay, cool, okay, cool, woo, woo. I don't give a fuck. So they got this building on campus called the Student Union. Now the Student Union is where you go if you want to get something good to eat. If you want to get a good ass cheeseburger, a hot dog, french fries shit like that because they had the small cafeteria and they had the large cafeteria on the campus and both of those cafeterias like i ain't even trying to shit on them but the, the food sucked like the food didn't have no damn taste to it like y'all tell me with this shit. and from the rumor that i heard they said that the truck comes and drops the food off there and then it goes and it drops the food off at the jail up the street if that's true or not, I don't know. But it damn sure was jail food because it had no fucking seasoning. And they feed you breakfast early, eight, like breakfast open up at like six, seven in the morning. You feel me? And then you get lunch at like around 12, something like that. And then you get dinner around six. So after six o'clock, once they close the motherfucking small cafeteria and the large cafeteria for the rest of the night, if you ain't got no noodles or if you ain't got no money to go to student union, you fucked. I'm sorry, darling. And uh, but that's what people used to kick it at. So I go to Student Union and shit. They had some banging ass cheeseburgers. Anybody who went to Earl C know Student Union has some banging ass cheeseburgers. 
So I went up there, got me some cheeseburger, got me a cheeseburger, got some fries and shit. I sit down, I chill. So I'm looking around, just trying to scope the place out and shit. And I look out back and they got these windows where you can see like outside. So I'm looking out back and I see there's a crowd of people back there, a bunch of motherfuckers. So I'm looking like, what the fuck they got going on out there? So I'm eating. So I can finish eating. I'm like, shit, let me check this out. So I go out back. I go out back and they was having a dance battle. It was two dudes. They were dancing against each other or whatever. And there was a big ass crowd around them, like, you know, rallying them on and shit. So I'm just looking, I'm just watching, watching, scoping the scene and shit. So the dance battle, I guess, ended. And the guy who won the dance battle, I guess he was a part of that game. Because the group that was around them was a gang. I'm not gonna even say the gang, you feel me? I ain't even finna put too much information out there, but let's just say the two most known gangs. So he was a part of one of them. So the whole gang, the whole group of people just jumped around, hey, 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 got to throwing up the gang sign and shit. So I'm looking, I'm watching, I'm like, okay, they over there chitting, they over there kicking it, they over there representing whatever, you know what I mean? And they just throwing it up, they jumping around, hey, 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 turn it up, right? So I look over there and I see my OT brother, Cali. Cali was a light-skinned dude with dreads, he had short dreads. And Cali's standing over there, and as Cali's standing over there, he's like, it's the group. He's like standing on the outside of the group, you know what I mean? So he's standing there, but he's like looking in, you know what I mean? Like he's on the outside of the group, so... They jumping around representing, and this dude took it upon himself. He felt as though that was the perfect time for him to represent where he from and represent his gang. So he starts jumping around and he starts throwing up the rival gang to this gang. He's jumping around and he's oh oh and he's throwing this shit up and the whole group stop and look at him. And he just partying by himself, throwing the shit up. The gang look at him and say, What the fuck? Fuck us up, nigga. What's up, nigga? What's up with that shit, nigga? Ooh, ooh. They start surrounding Cali, running up on Cali, about to fuck Cali world up. Now, I'm standing there watching this. I'm standing there watching this. One of my OT brothers was standing next to me watching it. So he like, man, what's wrong with this nigga? Why would he do that? I have no fucking clue. But I'm looking like, you have to be the dumbest motherfucker you see them jumping around, and it's like 30 of these niggas, at least. And they jumping around, throwing up their set. You're the rival set. You're the opposite set. And you're by yourself, and you're jumping around, throwing your shit up. First of all, we in Job Corps. So if you was going to be on that game banging shit, you could have stayed home for that. You could have did that shit back at the crib. You know what I mean? You had to bring your ass to Job Corps to do that. That's what I didn't get. You come to Job Corps to get an education, get a trade, try to better yourself. All that game banging shit, you could have did that shit back at the crib. You could have did that shit back on the block, wherever you was from. You could have saved your time, saved your energy, and stayed your ass at the crib and gang banged if that's what you was on. You didn't have to come all the way out here to do that. Not only that, but you didn't come out here for that. You're trying to do something else. You're trying to do something different. You know what I mean? And you come out here, and you know, your first night, nigga, you over there getting into it with niggas because you want to throw up your set and represent Cause you're still a baby and you don't know shit. So, one nigga runs up on him. Like, I'll smack the shit at you. You slut! Oh, I'm like, hey, 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 chill, chill, chill. Hey, bro, hey, hey, relax, relax. So, me and my, old, my other OT brother, we run up and we say, hey, bro, relax, relax. Hey, hey, we got him, we got him, we got him. This is an OT brother, we got him. So, they like, man, y'all better get that nigga the fuck up out of here, nigga. Get that nigga the fuck up out of here, nigga. Cause we about to smash that motherfucker. Get him the fuck up out of here. So we like, hey, bro, come on, bro. Let's go, bro. Bro, let's go. He like, no, oh, man. I've been... I'm like, bro, let's go, bro. Like, you, you, your ass is tweaking, bro. They about to beat the shit out you, boy. Let's roll. I'm trying to save your dumb ass. Bro, you tripping. So we get to walk. Me, my other OT brother, and Cali. 
we're walking Callie back to the dorms, back to the nines. And he wants to go back. And I'm like, nah, bro, relax, chill. It ain't even that serious. But to take your ass to the dorm, take your ass to the dorm and relax, homeboy. Just kick back, relax, my nigga. Like, you, on, you, you out here tweaking. You on some other type shit. So we get him back to the dorm. We take him in the dorm. We're like, all right, bro, like, go in your room, chill, kick it in the lobby. You know what I'm saying? Go grab you some noodles or something. Kick back, try to watch a movie or something. Like, on a, you would do something, my nigga. Like, stay the fuck out, the, out their way because they're going to smash your ass on site. Okay. So he like, all right, man, you know, I'm just saying, bro, I wasn't trying to be on that, but shit, I'm from Cali, you know what I'm saying? I'm ripping my, I'm ripping my shit, too. I'm ripping my hood, too. I fucked up, huh? Nigga, you're a grown-ass man, bro. You need to act like a grown-ass man. You acting like a little-ass boy right now. You need to conduct yourself as a grown-ass man. You feel me? Your ass is tweaking. So me and my other OT brother, we leave back out. Boom, we head back out. Boom, we just chilling. Night out on town and shit, kicking it, you know. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, hey. Get into this down the third, just chilling. Ain't doing too much though. Just kicking it with some of the other OTs and shit. Whoop de whoop. So the next day, we ended up hearing the story. They're like, hey bro, y'all heard what happened to that one nigga, bro? We're like, nah, what you talking about? Bro, I don't know. I think he one of y'all OT brothers and shit. Nigga stomped his head in. What? What you mean? Tell me more. So niggas like, nah, bro. I think he one of y'all OT brother, the light skinned nigga with the dreads. So I'm like, what? I'm like, nah. You know, he was about to get into it with some niggas and shit. They was about to thrash on him, but we got him up out of there. You feel me? They like, nah. That nigga, he gone. He in the hospital. What? Child, please. So I'm like, bro, you must got the wrong information. The other motherfuckers come. Like, hey, bro, y'all heard what happened to Cali? Hey, y'all heard what happened to the light skinned nigga with the dreads? So I'm like, yo, why is everybody talking about this? Like, nah, I was there, my nigga. Like, you know, niggas got the rep in the shit. He wanted to rep his shit. It was about to be some big shit, but we got him up out of there. We brought him back to the dorms, and that was that. They're like, nah, homie in the hospital. They put his ass in the hospital. They stomped his motherfucking head in. They bust his head. So, so right then and there, I'm like, hold on. So shoot over to my other OT brother, and I'm like, hey, bro, remember Cali, the nigga that we... Brought to the dorm last night, like, they talking about he got his head stomped in and shit. His head got busted and all that. They like, yeah, bro, you ain't heard? When we brought him back to the dorm and we told him to chill and we left back out, he took it upon himself to go back, to leave out the dorm and go back up to the student union. And the student union was right, right by the threes. Anybody who knows uh, Earl C, they know the student union is right by the threes. So... The dudes was kicking it by the threes by the time he walked back up. And he walked back up and they caught him and they jumped him. They fucked him up. They stomped on his head. They said motherfuckers, as they were jumping him, motherfucker took both his feet and jumped up and boom, was just stomping on his shit, stomping on his head. Damn! Bust his head. He had to go to the hospital. Whatever happened to him, if he survived that, I don't know. You know what I mean? We never got like an update. On, on his on his condition or whatever, but he just didn't come back. He never came back to Job Corps. He never came back to Earl C after that. You know, he went to the hospital and if he survived, they shipped him back home. If he didn't, you know, I don't know, man. You know, you just gotta really be careful with that. And I mean, hey, that's the that's the price you gotta pay though at the end of the day when you You're an idiot. Wanna be out here on some gangster shit, on some thug shit, especially when you by yourself. You got to be smart about this shit, man. This motherfuckers out here that's not going to think twice about splitting your shit. That's a fact. And you could think you big bad and all that, but I have never met one motherfucker who can beat a bullet. I never met one motherfucker who can box a bullet. You feel what I'm saying? No matter how big, how tall, how strong, how well known, how uh, you know scared people are of you or whatever the case may be, wherever you from, you got to always remember no matter how big and bad you is, there's always somebody out here that's bigger and badder than you. Facts, facts. So keep that shit in your motherfucking notepad. But until next time, man, I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here. I love y'all. So once again, if this your first time sliding through my channel, hit that like, hit that subscribe, become a part of this amazing Wolf Gang, baby. And if you're already a part of Wolf Gang, you already know how we creeping, how we rolling, how we slide to the end. Wolf Gang. Whippy, crazy, 80s, baby. Cocaine went crazy in the 80s, baby.
low key, I cook, I sell, no joke, that white, but that green, only green, I smoke, my workers, workers, all working naked, all of them women, all of them naked, cooking and cutting, weighing and bagging, I keep that pole on my hip, that's why my pants sagging.